Hey, what's going on, guys? Yes, I went missing again. Well, not technically missing, but I'll, I'll get into that later at the end of the video. But today we were taking a look at the Mafex Homelander from the Boys TV show on Amazon Prime. Now, Homelander is a Superman-like character who is fucking evil. I'm sorry. It's he's not evil. He's diabolical. And from comics to TV show, they really get some things very, very good with the character. Like, they get them very good. Maybe not as good as I want them to be because, you know, you can't do certain things in the show. But I really, I really like the boys' TV show on how it's going so far. So, this figure uh, just came out like about a week or two ago. And I was at first skeptical. I was like, I don't know if I should pass or I should get this. Uh, I got it, as you can see. <laughs> so we're just going to take a look at Homelander and like, see what he comes with, what he does, and whatnot. Not necessarily what he does, but yeah. So the first thing we're going to look at right now are the accessories. Okay, so these are pretty much all the accessories that you get with Homelander. So you get a pair of fisted hands, a pair of thumbs up hands, pointing hands, uh kinda semi open relaxed hands, and you get these two open hands. I think this one is like meant to look like he's grabbing someone or uh spoilers, that one scene where you put that guy against the uh the trash bin or the wall and had his hand on his face and he smushed it, I guess for like that and this one I'm pretty sure is like like an open flight hand and he also comes with this little chess piece uh, in the show and in the comics sometimes he has like the flap opened up kind of like unbuttoned something like that and I wasn't really expecting him to come with much accessories besides like the hands and all that because you know he's like he doesn't he doesn't carry a weapon or anything like that you know he just fucking flies and has laser vision and super strength and speed. So what what does he need to hold, you know? But yeah, that's that's just me. Alright, now that we covered the accessories, uh we're gonna talk about the body build. So this is my third Mafex figure. There will be more, but I can't really say what a generic Mafex body build is. But what this looks like, it's like a it's very it's different from the things that I have because all the Mafex figures that I have were all Spider-Man, and uh, I really personally I like this body build. You know, it fits. It looks just like him in the show, like as far as his proportions. You know, and he even has America's ass. You know, I shouldn't have made that joke, but uh, as far as like his body build and proportions, they are good, and. They're just good for me right now before I start scaling them with uh, Marvel Legends and other brands. But I like I like the, the body proportions. And for like the last, I guess, accessories, we get uh, we get three different head sculpts. So the first head sculpt we get that comes as the default when you open them out of the box, you get a the regular, I guess, relaxed face. Or angry, like he, he he's Homelander, you know. <laughs> like he, when he when he's smiling, you're 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 fucked. You're in trouble. Uh, we get a smiling head. And like I said, if he's smiling, then it's not it's not for a good reason. Um, this head scope is like, I like it. I really like it. You know, it captures the likeness of Anthony Starr, and they did a really good job. Speaking of Anthony Starr, if I end up, like, maybe later on down the line, I end up getting another one just for the head sculpt and probably use it for a reverse flash custom. But just because, like, a lot of people are, like, putting him as their top pick for reverse flash based on what they've seen him play as Homelander and, uh, on the boys' TV show. And... For the last head sculpt, 
we get a scream, not not screaming, but we get a laser eyes or yelling type head. Now, with this head, it's a bit different because you can see like the hair is like uh like not messed up but like different you know and personally I prefer that that they didn't cause like I kinda like when you're animating you kinda want that consistency if that makes sense I don't really know how to word it properly but what I would do as far as this head, I would actually give us probably like five or six different head sculpts. Because I really, like when it comes to figures that have laser vision, most of them are always like, their heads, their laser, their laser eye head sculpts are always like screaming or whatnot. And there are multiple times in the show where Homelander, he doesn't even open his mouth when he uses his head. His head. The fuck? Everyone uses their head. He doesn't open his mouth when he uses his laser vision. But that's just that's just a personal gripe. But other than that, everything is good. You know, it captures his it even captures his stubble well. Like the little gray areas, um, get a better head sculpt. Like you know. So yeah. So now that we looked at the head sculpts and the body build, uh we're gonna Take a look at the articulation. Okay, so to start off, Homelander can look up that far. Oh, sorry, the body moved. He can look up that far, which is really not far as I would like, but it's mainly because of this collar right here. Because, you know, he flies, and you want him to, like, look up that much. Uh, he can look down pretty far. He can go side to side. And all the way around like that. Uh, these shoulder parts, they move. And I'm kind of glad they moved. Because if they didn't, I'm pretty sure I would have ended up breaking them by now. Because you know me. <laughs> I break things. <laughs> uh, the arms, they go up about that far. Like, without forcing it, they go up about that far. And if you do force it, please don't force it. They go up probably about that much. Uh, they go all the way around. I'm not gonna, I'm just kind of scared to twist it all the way around, to be honest, but they do that. Uh, he has bicep swivel. He has double jointed elbows, but they only go in that much. He also has a, not, it's not hidden, but he also has a butterfly joint. And the wrists, standard Mafex. Or all the Mafex ones that I have, at least. They hinge up and down. You know, you can twist them. Uh, the torso. So, the upper torso. It crouches. Crunch, crouches. It crunches that far. And it goes back further. The bottom part of the torso crunches that far. And, well, damn. <laughs> Don't mind me, clumsy me. The bottom part, it goes further, just like the top half. Uh, the legs, they kick out that far. And they kick backward. Back, backward. <laughs> they kick backward that far and as far as splits go can split that much he has double jointed knees boot rotation and of course it wouldn't be a figure without ankle pivot uh, the toe joints go up like that And that looks to be about it for the articulation. I didn't mean to do like that, Homelander. He's fucking, he's pissed. 
So yeah, now that we covered the articulation, we're just gonna get into scaling. And then I'm gonna get into my overall grade for this figure. Okay, so the first figure we're gonna put him up against, not really up against, but the first figure we're gonna stand him next to is the Mafex Amazing Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man. And there's a, there's not much of a uh, height gap, but you can kind of like, yeah. Uh, next, we're gonna put him next to a Marvel Legends Luke Cage. I have a different head on there because of the, the show that I'm filming right now. But a Marvel Legends Luke Cage and the Marvel Legends Luke Cage body is taller. Uh, we're gonna scale him next to SH Figure Arts Deadpool. And he he pretty much towers over him. But that is that is a SH Figure Arts thing. SH Figure Arts is known to like not be so big because they're actually 112 scale. These these guys, Mafex and Marvel Legends, they're like they're 112, but they're a little bit bigger. Uh, next, we're gonna size them up with the DC Multiverse Shazam. And as I expected, he is taller because DC figures are always somehow close to seven inches or seven inches exactly. Uh, next, we're gonna scale him up to the Mattel WWE Elite Randy Orton. And yeah, he's he's pretty small. <laughs> Oops. Uh, what else? Now we're gonna scale them up to some of my customs. Uh, here he is next to Dragonfly. Dragonfly is also tall because he's a WWE figure. Here he is next to Quicksilver, even though he's in a different attire right now. Again, for the show that I'm filming. Jeez, very, very tall compared to him. Here he is next to my Marvel Legends custom Scarlet Witch. Again, he's taller. Here he is next to my SH Figure Arts Hulk. And obviously Hulk is gonna be taller. I might I might make a stop motion with Homelander versus Hulk. So stay tuned for that. And that will be it for scaling my Homeland figure. So now we're just going to give it my grade on how I rate it. Okay, so for the articulation, I'm going to give that an 8.5 out of 10. The only reason why I give it that score is because of the arms. The arms and the head. I wish that the arms would like go up a little bit further because in the show he does this little he does this thing like before he flies off where he brings his arms all the way up and yeah it, I'll, I'll put it I'll put it right there yeah he does that uh the head it's obvious why I have a problem with the head articulation because it doesn't go up as far as it should be it's for a guy that can fly but then again that's just my personal gripes and that's because of how I don't know how to make it work other people can they can make it work so they might not have a problem with it uh, the torso I don't really have a problem with the torso and the torso is fine with me the legs they're also fine with me and that's that's the only thing that sets it down for the articulation for the accessories uh, I'm just gonna have to give that a 
10 out of 10 because I'm not really expecting much but a, but a few hands and uh, the head sculpts. I mean, extra like like laser pieces would have been fine with me, but then again, I I just do visual effects. Visual. I just do visual effects. So I didn't really need that. So yeah. Uh, for the scale, I'll give that a nine out of ten because I don't really know how tall the actor is in real life, so I can't really say. And I'm pretty sure, like, the rest of the boys figures that release in the Mafex line, they'll probably scale well with each other. Like, as far as, like, the Seven and Billy Butcher. And speaking of Billy Butcher, I'm not going to review him because I don't have him. And I wasn't really planning on buying him. Like, with me, it was, it was like, which one do I want more? And I decided to get Homelander. Uh, so the scaling, I'll give that a 9 out of 10. Maybe, maybe because I didn't scale him with all the figures that I have and see how he would work. Uh, for... What else? For the sculpt and accuracy, I'll, I'll really, I'll have to give that a 10 out of 10. I'll give that a 10 out of 10. Like, based on what I've seen in the show and what I see here on the figure, like, I really, really like what they've done. Like they captured the likeness really, really well. Even even the little, like the stubble that's at the bottom of his beard that you see sometimes. It's like, it's really good. And even the jawline, you know, because Anthony Starr has a distinct jawline that really captures like the maniac persona that Homelander has in the show. Like, sometimes in the show... Not just by his facial expression, but by the way how he moves his jaw. Like, when he's not talking. Like, it just shows, like, like the maniacality in his brain. I, is maniacality a word? <laughs> Someone let me know if maniacality is a word. And if not, then damn. But uh, overall, I would give this figure a 9 out of 10. The only thing that's really setting it back is the articulation problems that I have with it. But uh, other than that, I like it. I def I definitely recommend getting it. So uh, with that being said, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video, even though I barely was saying much because I'm, I'm not even focused on a review. I'm focused on animating this TV show right now. And that's where I'm going to talk about. So about the TV show, it, it is the rundown TV show that I've teased like for since fucking forever and everything's going well with it I have been slacking though but I am working on episode 2 episode 1 is already finished and complete and uh I'm working on episode 2 right now and I'm just doing like the prep work and stuff for, like certain scenes at the moment and then I'm gonna finish filming it um more information about the show uh the show is supposed to air Friday at 9 p.m. on November 25th. And we're going to go from November 25th to March 3rd, I believe. Yeah, so the, the way how I'm going to extend it to that long, I'm going to have the first four episodes be from November 25th to December 16th. And then we go on a mid-season finale break. And then we're going to come back February 10th up until March 3rd. So... The way how I'm doing the scheduling as far as the show, it's going to come out weekly. So that way, I figure it would be good for me to put it out weekly. That way we have like people or the audience talking about what's going to happen next. Is this person going to find out? Is that person going to find out? Is this person going to kill him? Or is he going to get arrested? Something like that. But uh, as far as the show, it, it's, coming, it's coming along really well. That's why I've, like, I've been so quiet. And whatnot on Instagram and YouTube in general. Well, mainly because something that went wrong with my Instagram, but it wasn't allowing me to post. So I'm just waiting until that get clears up. But uh, yeah, other than that, I've just been working on the show like a lot, and I've also been like in the process of me making the show. I've been recording every not everything, but I've been like documenting everything. So I'm also putting that together like uh it's episodic 
ep as a episodic series of behind the scenes of Rundown. So yeah. But uh, thank you guys for watching the review. I'm sorry that I keep disappearing on you guys. I don't really mean to, but it's just I'm just working and I'm busy doing the show and all of that. But uh, enjoy these photos that I took of the Mafex Homelander from the Boys TV show.